By the way, I'll, I'll, I'll just fucking out him. Jim Carrey called me up last week. I talked to him for five and a half hours. He's like begging me to like get a deal with Q. Like he's afraid of the fucking brackets. I'm like, and it's just like yammering on with the crap, but like not owning up or doing anything fucking meaningful. Mean, me, meanwhile, just lying to everybody. Guys, you were fucking cowards. You're going down. You're going to fucking die. That's it. You're going to die. If you ate kids, you're going to fucking die. You can't get over that shit. That's a death sentence. You cannot fucking live. But what I'll tell you that you can do is possibly save your soul. You can save your soul. And I can help you save your soul. You will fucking die, though. So get over it. I know you all are afraid that you sold your soul. But I think you can get it back. You're going to fucking die, though. That's it. How did Jim Carrey get my number? Because I gave it to him. Yeah, I talked to him twice last week. One for three and a half hours. And by the end of it, I was like, oh my God, I hope I never talk to this p- pedantic fucker again. It was that, like, excruciating. What did Jim Carrey say? Oh, uh, it was, honestly, it was just him talking in fucking loops most of the time about the totality of your existence. He pulled a Betty Washam on me. He said that, like, well, because of me, I made way for you. I'm like, fuck you, dude. You did not do shit. You did not do shit.